Hello, I'm Corinne Harrington, and for my senior project, I conquered four fears. <laughs> my first fear was sharks. How I did this to conquer this fear was to swim with these sharks. Building up to this, um, my family went to Florida, and I like begged them to let me do this, and they were more scared for me than I was. We took a boat out to the ocean, and they said, you can either swim with the sharks freely, or you can go in the cage. And I was like, why not just go all the way? Let's like not use the cage. As I was going in the water, I did not look down because I knew they were right below me. I grabbed the rope and then I started just like lying on the surface, just looking at these sharks. It freaked me out at first. It definitely freaked me out, but I got used to it. I wasn't scared like at all. I felt safe. There was one time though, the guy that the driver of the boat just threw the bait near me so they would come closer to me for some reason that was smart and I had two swimmers with me to protect me and they were e on either side of me when that happened. I probably stayed in there for an hour and I didn't even realize it. I thought it was only 15 minutes had passed and then I got on board and my mom was like, how was it? And I was like, oh my god, it was super cool. <laughs> <laughs> Did it. So my second fear was heights and this is a special fear of mine because my whole family is afraid of heights and so I want to overcome this. <laughs> we got on this boat. I was scared. I was really scared because they just shoot you out into the air. They didn't give us any warning and we just went flying up in the air and I was screaming like crazy. Once we were in the air, it was so calm and peaceful and Holden and I just like had a conversation up there. And then when they were reeling us in, they like, like they dropped us into the ocean to soak us and then they pulled us back up and I splashed Holden a little when we were in the water. They reeled us in and it was overall so much fun and I'm glad I got to connect with my brother more. Okay, so after my first two t fears, this is when quarantine started and I was thinking about changing my fear and I kind of did, but then I realized like this is such a cool senior project. I can totally come up with stuff to do like that's around here at home and being safe. So I thought of why not try like drowning myself? <laughs> I didn't actually drown myself. Due to lifeguarding and having a pool, like I'm able to hold my breath for a long time, but I've never timed myself. So I had my friend come over and film me doing this experience, experience and this is how it went. <laughs> so I'm gonna overcome the fear of drowning by using these weights. Now I'm gonna try my hardest to stay underwater because I'm I have pretty good lungs and everything. So we're gonna we're gonna see. So building up to this fear, I practiced breathing and I looked up videos of how to like hold your breath underwater and how to prepare yourself. Like you're supposed to take three deep breaths and then go underwater. Which actually did help, and then once you're underwater, you don't want to lose all your breath at once. You want to let it go in bits, which I did, and that always helped. And then also just concentrating. You need to have the mindset of just, like, focus. You need to be focused. So this is my fourth and final fear, and this was probably <laughs> the scariest one because <laughs> I locked myself in a trunk for three hours. <laughs> So this was the fear of overcoming claustrophobia. I, it was dark in the trunk. Um, I had my phone, phone to film, but like I didn't go on it because I wanted to experience the whole thing of being like by yourself, being secluded. So this is how that fear went. <laughs> hey guys, I'm here with Rachel and her car. So today I'm gonna be conquering the fear of claustrophobia. I'm conquering this fear by being locked in her trunk for three hours and we're gonna see how it goes so let me climb in this trunk real quick <laughs> oh my god oh my god <laughs> okay see you guys in three hours <laughs> hey guys it's currently hour one it's so dark in here um i kind of like took a nap <laughs> I do feel I can't really stretch out my legs. Hour two, 
I'm kind of feeling it now. It's kind of scary. And I really want to get out of here. Okay, it's hour three. Rachel, get me out. <laughs> Rachel? Rachel's not getting me out of the trunk. <laughs> Rachel! <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so I already knew I was a free spirit. But this senior project, I got to know myself better. I got to reconnect with myself. I got to know how courageous I am, how brave I am. And overall, and for the future, like just not taking anything for granted and by saying like, yes, let's do it. Even though I'm gonna be afraid of it, but afterwards I'm gonna be like, oh my God, that was so cool. Like the risk is worth taking. So thank you, Ms. Finkelstein, for my parents, for everyone that supported me during this experience and how cool it was and how much fun my senior project was. Thank you for watching. Bye!